Nursing home virus cases are nearly cut in half in just four weeks, and an operator is accused of falsely billing for skilled nursing services in a $100 million fraud scheme. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, February 3rd, 2021. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you are a CNA, consider becoming a NACA member for only $30 a year. A link will be in the description of this video. Nursing homes are closer to returning back to normal operations based on case trends over the past month. Quote, what we're seeing is a lot of early positive signs. David Grabowski, Ph.D., Harvard professor and healthcare policy expert, recently told The Wall Street Journal. They are all encouraging and collectively suggest the vaccine is potentially starting to take effect, he added. Federal data released late last week showed that weekly virus deaths and cases in nursing homes have declined steadily since peaking during the week of December 20th when the cases reached 32,522. Since then, weekly cases showed weekly declines. During the week of December 27th, there were 27,919 cases. By January 17th, the most recent reporting week, it was cut down to 17,584 during the week of January 17th. The improvements also came during a time where a large majority of residents signed up to receive their first doses, according to the CDC. During the first month of the federal vaccine program, skilled nursing facilities had at least one vaccine clinic, saw an estimated median of 77.8% of residents, but just 37.5% of staff received at least one dose. The part owner and operator of a Massachusetts-based home health company and a licensed practical nurse are accused of falsely billing for home health services that were never provided, including skilled nursing visits and a $100 million fraud and money laundering scheme. Faith Newton, 52, and Winnie Wororo, 41, both of Massachusetts, were indicted on conspiracy to commit health care fraud, pay and receive kickbacks, and aiding and abetting the U.S. Attorney's Office District of Massachusetts announced on Monday. Newton served as the part owner and operator of Arbor Home Care Services, LLC, in Chelmsford, Massachusetts, while Aurora worked as the home health nurse for the operator. The Department of Justice alleged that Arbor, through Newton, failed to train staff and bills for home health services that were either not provided, medically unnecessary, or not authorized. Newton also allegedly developed sham employment relationships to pay kickbacks for patient referrals from 2013 to 2017. Rororo was accused of billing the state's Medicaid program, MassHealth, for skilled nursing visits that she never performed and for passing cash payments from Newton to an Arbor patient in order to retain their business. The scheme in all costs, MassHealth and Medicare, at least $100 million, according to the DOJ. Quote, Newton allegedly used the laundered proceeds of the $100 million scheme to purchase multiple homes and a Maserati and to fund investment accounts, a lavish lifestyle, and numerous financial transactions, the agency said. Newton was also indicted for seven counts of money laundering and one count of money laundering conspiracy. Rororo was also indicted on two counts of making false statements and one count Count of making false statements in a healthcare matter. This has been your long term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday. <music>